doom, 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 doom. Aries, 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 Aries. Hello, Aries. How are you guys doing? Thank you so much for tuning in, Aries. Um, I'm so excited to do you guys this reading. Okay, let's see what kind of lunatic may be coming towards you in love, Aries. Um, please do not forget to like this video for me, please. It really helps with the algorithm to get, um, you know, my content, my messages out there. So thank you so much to those of you who always like the video whenever you watch. Also, Aries, if for some strange reason this does not seem to resonate for you at all, okay, um, feel free to check out your moon, your rising, and Venus. Actually, don't even feel free. Just do it. Okay, because there could be other messages there. All right, Aries, so let's see. Remember, take what resonates, leave the rest. This is a general tarot reading, not to mention it is free. Just relax. If you feel like something that I say doesn't resonate for you, it could resonate with the next person, okay? All right, so Aries, let's see what we got. What is coming towards Aries and love, angels? What do we have for Aries, sun, moon, rising, and Venus? Aries, Aries, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Aries, you know, it's funny because this card literally felt the freak out. You guys seen that, right? And I was like, okay, if it come out again, then I know it's meant to be. This shit literally just came out again. All right. So Aries, you have, this could be the one you have already met the romantic partner that you seek. Okay. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, right? So um, for those of you, right, right now you're just in a period of self-discovery, self-love, taking care of yourself, you know what I'm saying? And this is really drawn a particular person to you that may be the one, okay? You're pulling them in. <laughs> All right, Aries, what do we have for Aries? Give us something good. Aries. Sorry, guys. Let me. Okay. Messages for Aries in their love situation. What do we have? Messages for Aries in their love situation. <clears throat> Aries. What do we have in love? Aries. Aries. What do we have in love? Aries. Let me get one more for Aries. bottom of the deck we have take a chance <laughs> take a chance Aries be nice to your soul man okay you can't grow in your comfort zone stepping into the unknown is trusting the universe go for it mm. heart chakra awaken your heart center and let love in so Aries I feel like a lot of you are in that nine of pentacles and queen of swords energy you're just like listen I'm good stay the fuck away from me I love being single you know less headache less drama less bs but Aries, you may just be falling for someone very soon or um, someone's falling for you very soon. This could be someone you already know. Reconciliation, the return of a past soulmate. Okay. Oh, you guys got a show away coming on in. Okay. <laughs> I told you to be nice to the soulmate, Aries. Did you guys remember that? All right. I'm an Aries Venus, so I can understand when you guys are. You're not too nice with the soulmate. You know what I'm saying? All right. Patterns of control, power, manipulation, and intense push and pull attraction. Intimacy is not possessive. Very interesting. So let's see. Aries. What is coming towards Aries in love? Aries. What do we have for Aries in love? has feelings that they that they're not expressing i already know my my table is just a whole mess guys so just bear with me <laughs> all right aries so you have the nine of swords this is the overall energy of your reading okay so i mean this shit has been coming out for almost everyone um someone may really be going through the dark night of the soul okay so this is someone who cannot sleep okay thinking about you aries there is anxiety. There is uh, fear. There is sleepless nights. There is um, a feeling that they've lost you, okay? Um, there is a feeling of 
it's like this person really wants to open up to you. They want to tell you something. They're worried about speaking to you. Okay, so let's see what's going on. <laughs> All right, Aries, what is coming towards Aries in love? What do we have? Aries, Aries, what is coming towards Aries? <clears throat> so someone's been in their head, eight of swords. Someone's overthinking the situation. What is coming towards Aries in love? What do we have for Aries, please? Aries, what is coming towards Aries in love? Aries, <clears throat> could be dealing with a Taurus. What is coming towards Aries and love, please? Ten of Swords. What is coming towards Aries and love? So I feel like this person, um, how do I say it? <laughs> I feel like this person is very obsessed with you, Aries. No matter what it looks like or seems like, they just, they are obsessed. Okay, Aries, um they are stuck they're bound to you they're a slave for you oh god who's that going too far i'm a slave for you but they really are i mean not in a like a literal sense but i mean this person just can't i feel like they try to detach they try to detach from this connection but they cannot okay it's strong it's intense could be dealing with a capricorn this person is still very much obsessed with you but I feel like there's a need to really, because um, swords are the uh, the mental, right? Um, we're dealing with Aquarius, a Libra, a Gemini, right? But I feel like Aries, this person needs to put some kind of mindset to an end. Um, of course, it could be you. If you know it's you, then you need to put this mindset to an end. And what's the mindset? I don't know. Thinking that you're right, right? All the time. Um, you know, telling yourself negative things, thinking ne negative things, um, you know, just being in some kind of pattern, having some kind of pattern that is not very healthy to you or anyone involved. Okay. That could be inadequacy. This could be, you know, drugs, alcohol, whatever it is that's binding this person and stopping them from really expressing their love to you and being with you it needs to be put to an end and it will ten of swords is the end of a cycle um it's the end of some kind of bs okay and in this case i feel like it's an end to the overthinking um i feel like this person's trapped in their thoughts about you they want to talk to you they want to come towards you but they're overthinking what to say, but they will because the two of cups indicates that, um, you know, there will be some kind of face-to-face -face conversation. They may want to talk to you in person um, or you guys might FaceTime, <laughs> but you guys will talk. Um, okay. So this is your soulmate, okay, whether you believe in it or not, but there's a mutual connection, a mutual love here. If you don't love this person, Aries, just go ahead and click off, right? There's no point at this point. I mean, that's, there's no point, right? But I think it's mutual. The twos are mutual. This is a mutual energy. Um, they do want to commit to you. You are someone that they want to marry. Um, some of you may have placed firm boundaries with this person, right? Um, you're keeping them at bay. You're keeping them at bay, Aries. And for some of you, it's not because they did anything wrong, but it's because you just don't want to get hurt, Okay. Maybe things are very intense. There's This is a very intense connection, Aries. The devil and the sun could be become connected to a Leo. But it's just, it's too intense. Um, And I just feel like someone's blocking it out. Someone's like, stay away from me. It's like someone's trying to block the sun. You can't block it for long. You can't block it for long. The sun is just so bright, okay? It's so... Uh, you know, it's like, try to stare at the sun. You're going to blind yourself, right? All right, one more card for Aries. What is coming towards Aries in love? So someone really needed to work on their heart chakra. Aries, love, Aries, love. <clears throat> okay, there will be communication here. There will be communication. Um, it's going to be very spur of the moment. Okay, this person, I feel like when they contact you, they're going to want to have a face-to-face -face conversation, Aries. That's what they're going to want to do. They may show up at your house if they know where you live. 
they want to have a face-to-face conversation. They want some face-to-face action, Aries. <laughs> oh my God, this is going to be a very intense conversation too. Very similar to Capricorn reading. Um, you may want to go check that out. But I think your first reaction is just going to be to just know, stay away from me or put up the guard. Uh, but you shouldn't do that, Aries, because there's love here, right? Um, there's love here, but someone just needs to get out of their head. That's all they need to do. Aries, I feel like um, someone in this situation may be coming across as like they don't want a relationship or they, you know, it's just because they, they're tired. They're exhausted of the whole talking stage. Okay. You ever felt that way? Like I was just saying that the other day, like you ever felt like you're tired of, you don't, you don't have another talking stage in you. You just don't. <laughs> so it may seem like they're not interested, but they are. They're very interested. It's actually the opposite Aries. Okay. The three of swords is here in the reverse, meaning that there will be reconciliation right after some type of hurtful situation. You guys will come back together, Aries. Why? Because they love you. Okay. Um, their feelings are deeper than the ocean. Um, they may not always express it, but uh, they, they're feeling it. They have an ocean of emotion for you. And they care about you very deeply, Aries. Okay. It may not seem like it, right? Because somebody is very um, detached, right? Because they don't want to get their feelings involved. This is someone who is, they don't want to fall in love, but they can't help it. Okay. Um, they can't help but fall in love with you, Aries. Okay. Um, or this could just be your energy, right? You just want the truth. Don't come towards me with any of that bullshit because I have no problem cutting you off again. They know that. They know that you have your sword ready to go. They know that they cannot play with you because you've reached a level of self-love and um, you're putting yourself first. You have no problem cutting them off. You're not needy or desperate, okay? Um, like I said, they weren't expressing anything to you, Aries, um, and they want to and they will. Why do I say that? Because the fool is here. This is someone who is going to take a leap of faith in your direction at this connection, okay? Um, they will take the plunge to let you know how they feel. They will take that risk. They're afraid of the wrath, but they're gonna risk it anyway, Aries. Um, the devil's um, death card is in reverse. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, right? But this is not over. You think it's over, but it's not. They wanna bring this up from the dead. For those of you, if this is someone who was toxic in the past, okay they they want to talk about things right um and they want to do things differently okay they've learned their lessons right and they're coming straight for you aries they want you they're determined to be with you they want to move this this forward could be a cancer um but that that's what they want why where are they headed aries they are headed to the ten of cups with you because they see you as their and all be all okay aries so and they love and they care about you <gasps> that is so beautiful they love and they care about you aries this is your soulmate um don't give up on them okay they want this you guys will talk again right there will be an open and an honest communication with transparency right this is so exciting all right so aries that's what we got that's what we got they try to stay away from you, but it's not working. They're just so addicted to you. Um, they just can't help but be in love with you, Aries. Although they've been trying to resist, but they just can't help it. All right, so here we go. So they will be acting on it. And I feel like some very good makeup sex <laughs> will come out of this with the devil. Okay, just, just saying ahead of time. All right, um, I don't feel the need to really clarify, but I do want to just clarify the seven of wands, um, why someone may be defensive in a situation. Let's say this is someone who's involved, right? I can see why you're defensive, um, but they can't help with the, how they feel about you, Aries. You see? Aries, okay, Aries, no more videos until you talk to your soulmate. No more videos until you talk to the motherfucker, okay? Because the motherfucker just, what are you blocking out? 
this could be very, you know, this could be your fairy tale. Fairy tales do exist, right? <laughs> I mean, someone's blocking, someone's blocking out, you know, their whole world. <laughs> Aries, for the first time, I feel like I don't even need to clarify because it's a very obvious message here. So get ready, Aries, get ready for this face-to-face <clears throat> -face conversation okay this is what they want um they want to talk and uh they want to fight for this now they don't want to lose this okay so let's get a career and work what is coming towards aries and work and career what do we have for work and career for aries work and career for aries work and career for aries the high priestess Work and career for Aries. So your intuition may be telling you something, Aries, about this job, this position, or whatever it is. Your intuition is speaking to you. And Spirit is telling you that you need to pay attention to your intuition. Um, it, you know, I feel like Spirit is trying to give you a nudge here. It's telling you, yes, this is it. Um, this is, you are exactly where you need to be. You are on the right path is what I'm hearing um don't overthink it right don't overthink it okay um if you went through something very traumatic like a loss of a job or something just know that things are going to improve drastically for you with the star and um there's hope here right um and i here's the advice spirit wants you to know they just told me this whatever's meant for you will be for you you will not lose it okay so if you keep that in mind um, this will help you to stress less, right? So just know that your lucky period is coming. If you feel like you've been unlucky with jobs or finances or whatever the case may be, it's that's about to change. Your luck is about to change, Aries, okay? So that's what I have for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like I said, please be sure to like um, this video for me, if you're still watching, um, and the Page of Cups, hey, you have an offer coming. Job offer, um, whatever it is, okay? So, love you guys. See you guys next time.